Alright, in today's video we're going to be going through um, two heat of fusion problems. Um, I don't have any heat of vaporization problems in this video, but they really are uh, same principle, same idea that you would use for a fusion problem, you'd use for a vaporization problem. So if you have any trouble with your homework, this might be a good video to check out. Uh, so the first problem uh, deals with this individual named Ice-T, and Ice-T places uh, 48.2 48 grams of ice in his beverage. What quantity of energy would be absorbed by the ice and released by the beverage during the melting process? And I tell you, the heat of fusion of water is 333 joules per gram. Um, I also have included a formula for you guys uh, right here, Q equals m which is the mass times uh, the heat of fusion or the change of heat of fusion which is 333. So this is actually a, a pretty uh, straightforward problem because I am um, I want to know what is Q which is an energy um, how much energy or, or heat uh, is basically uh, absorbed by the ice and released by the beverage during the melting process and I know the mass of the ice which is uh, 48 0.2 grams and I know the heat of fusion uh, is a little F there uh, is 333 joules per gram and basically this just is a, uh, a calculator problem you're just gonna put 48.2 grams um, times the heat of fusion which is 333 joules per gram and if you do the math it comes out to be a, a Q of 16,050 joules. Uh, so 16,050 joules uh, would be the answer to this question. Uh, so I, like I said, a pretty straightforward is basically uh, putting numbers into an equation and uh, crunching them so that you can get the answer. The second question is a little bit more complex. It says, uh, what is the minimum amount of liquid water at 28, or I'm sorry, 26.5 degrees that would be required to completely melt 50 grams of ice. Uh, the specific heat capacity of liquid water is 4.18, and the specific heat of fu or fusion of ice is 333 joules per gram. And I, I give you one formula right here, uh, which that's nice, but there's another one that we're gonna need for this problem, and that is Q equals M, uh, sorry, M, well, mistake there. M, C, delta, T. Um, so that formula will be useful for this equation too. And basically, um, what you need to do is you need to kind of first, I, I always like to write down what are my knowns and my unknowns. And so um, I know a few things about the ice. Right? Uh, the ice has a mass of 50 grams, which is that's just given from the problem. And I also know that ice has a heat of fusion, uh, heat of fusion of 333 joules per gram. Right? So that's that's what I know about ice. What do I know about the water that's in this problem? Well, the water I um, do not know the mass. Right? That 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 is. Uh, one thing I'm trying to find out in this problem, what is the minimum amount of liquid water? Um, so I want to find out the mass. Uh, I do know that the initial temperature is 26.5 degrees Celsius. And um, I know that the specific heat of water is 4.18 joules per gram per degree Celsius. Right. Uh, and what else do I know? Oh, I know that the final temperature, and, and this is a, a piece that you gotta kinda gotta figure out here, the final temperature would be zero degrees Celsius. It, it could drop that much and still have, you can still have liquid water at around zero degrees Celsius. All right, so the big thing that you need to realize, or the, 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 the big um, connector to this problem, basically is that the amount of energy to melt this ice will equal the amount of energy that the water needs to give to the ice. So Q ice 
is going to equal negative Q water. Okay, because basically the heat or the energy from this water is going to be given to the ice. And so the, we, need, we can set these two equal to one another. That is really the uh, key to this problem, is that when you figure out that the heat that is needed to melt the ice is going to equal the heat that the water is going to give to the ice. So what the real key is, is we can actually figure out the Q of the ice, how much energy is needed to melt uh, 50 grams of ice. And that's a relatively simple problem because basically we just take this formula up top here, Q equals M delta H fusion, and that is, so if I plug my numbers in, 50 grams times 333 joules per gram. And if you do the math on that, uh, that comes out to be, uh, where is my numbers here? 16,650 joules. All right, so that is how much energy is needed to melt uh, 50 grams of ice. And we say, well, who cares? Why, why is that relevant? Well, basically that Q can be put now into the water column. This water needs to be able to produce that much energy to melt the ice. And so we know now another known here, that Q for the water is this number down here on the bottom, 16,650. And so what I can end up doing is I can use this equation, Q equals MC delta T over here. I'll write it again since I wrote it so sloppily over there. And basically we wanna find out the mass, how much water is needed to melt this ice. And we know everything else in this equation. We know that the Q is 16,650 joules, which I get from down here because we solved it by uh, figuring out the heat of uh, fusion for the water, the ice, is equal to M, and then C we know already, because that's just a given, <clears throat> which is 4.18. And then delta T, uh, T final minus T initial, well, what is zero minus 26.5? Well, you get negative 26.5, and so that's what goes here is 26.5 degrees C, and that should be negative. And if you do the algebra here, um, and you figure out what M equals, um, you get mass equals 150.5. 3 grams, and if you go with your sig figs, it would really be 150 grams. And that would be how much is needed to uh, basically melt uh, 50 grams of ice. And, and like I said, the, the big connector for this problem is if you can realize that this is a, a considered a closed system, there's no added heat from the atmosphere or loss of heat to the atmosphere. So basically, the energy of the water is going to equal um, the energy needed to melt the ice. If you have any other questions, we'll, we'll see you in class.